Right now, the jury is sequestered at a nearby hotel. They're under strict orders to not talk about this case with anybody or have contact with anybody until after they reach a verdict. James Worley is now hours away from knowing his fate. In its closing arguments, the prosecution reviewing key witness testimony and DNA evidence. That includes both Sierra's and Worley's blood found in the three crime scenes the prosecution identifies. The cornfield where she was attacked, the north barn where she was held captive, and finally the cornfield where her body was buried. So the defendant takes Sierra to the north barn, he dresses her up, he ties her up, he lives out his pornographic fantasy. What does he do then? He murders her and tries to hide what he did. But the defense pleading with the jury to not buy the prosecution's version of what happened those days in July of 2016 when Sierra went missing. Why? Because of flaws, including an unidentified man's DNA found on Sierra. And the defense even bringing up something new, an eyewitness who allegedly saw another man near the same cornfield and time when Sierra disappeared. What does she see? A few rows in the corn? A man? in red shorts around that time same area a man in red shorts what don't we have we don't have red shorts for james worley it wasn't james worley <laughs> This trial has gripped, rattled, and saddened a small, close-knit community. People here say they're anxious for a verdict. It's been going really fast. I've been checking on the news. Everybody in here has been talking about it a lot. We just would like to see justice done so everybody can put it behind us and move on. A verdict sealing Worley's fate, but also giving this community healing. The jury is back at 9 o'clock Tuesday morning to continue deliberating. Reporting at the Fulton County Courthouse, I'm Viviana Hurtado, WTOL 11 News on Fox 36.